Alright guys, so tonight I laid out the main wall bulkhead. So this line that comes all the way down to the bottom of the hull, up and over to the other side here. Same, same methods as before, plumb blob. So plumbed it all up. Uh, once again, our walls are sprung just a little bit, uh, overall about an inch. So when we cut our template out, we'll, uh, we'll make our pattern just like usual. We'll drop it on the big panel that we made previously. It's uh, sitting in storage right now. Uh, I'll get that home this week. And then from there, we'll do the same thing like we did on the front bulkhead. We'll uh, figure out our dimensions, what it says in the prints, what it's supposed to be. And we will pull everything back into that point. Um, again, we're gonna pull it in, give or take an inch here. Uh, nothing too drastic. Uh, Again, these walls flex quite a bit if you, you see that. So this should lock pretty much everything together at this point, this main wall. Uh, this is gonna be where the, the door is to enter the cabin. Uh, we'll have a window, etc. cetera. Um, so yeah, this will be the cabin area. Um, the back will be the cockpit area. Yeah, I think it, uh, it's working out pretty well all in all. We did add 600 millimeters or two feet to this boat. Uh, from the prints with the assistance of spirited designs uh, i've been in contact with him for all modifications we've done and he's been very helpful with everything so we're actually going to gain our 600 millimeters two feet in the cabin um we're doing a little bit different layout than what he has in his prints uh it for us it didn't seem very functional for what we're trying to do with this vessel so we're going for more of a cruising style and we want plenty of storage comfort the, you know a, a little bit of amenities so that's kind of why we're uh we shifted it out we got another two feet in the cabin we'll be able to do a settee uh have room for captain's chairs a full galley then again all accessories so as you can see we still haven't done the hull joints um where hopefully cassie will be around tomorrow to uh, give me a hand doing that um we'll get the hull joints done all glassed up we're, we're good back to this point here um everything's sanded prepped i just have to wipe everything down with acetone quick the one more final vacuum prior to that is still some dust in the cracks here uh i did pick up a new vacuum uh with a uh, cyclone attachment and I'll go over that uh, as we get using it here um, basically what's happening is the filter and the little vacuum just clogs up so quick I'm losing suction so hopefully this fixes that problem um, we've seen a few people use different versions of the same thing in the past and they seem to work for them so we're uh, I've seen these prior in like woodworking shops stuff like that and they always seem to work out pretty well so all right, guys, so tonight we are marking out, oops, sorry, some uh, water lines here. Basically, my thought is, for one, the sole on this side, kind of where I'm standing, it's, it's very awkward because I have to stand on the streaks right now. But uh, the sole that goes here in this berth area uh, is actually at the water line level. And as I was drawing this out last night, kind of fighting with the level to uh, figure everything out, I was thinking about it and we want to foam fill the hulls of the boat to do so basically if we fill up to the designed waterline with foam theoretically that should create enough buoyancy to float at any given time it sounds right in my head and I, i'm thinking it's right um so again i'm gonna go around i'm just gonna mark the uh the water lines uh, i picked up a laser level uh borrowed from a friend so i'm gonna use that and we're gonna set it up i already did the uh i don't know if you can see all the little hash marks here uh, i did the sole here so i can actually get all the lines drawn for that and then make a template and get the sole in here so i can actually walk around a little bit easier up here um i did lay out the bed bunk last night unfortunately it's only in pencil but there are marks all along this wall right here across the peel ply and all the way into the corner and then across and that's actually the bed board that makes up the rest of the, the uh where the mattress sits um so i marked all that out last night this vertical line you see here in the middle is the intermediate bulkhead that goes in this hull i intend to do the same thing in the back of the boat everything from this bulkhead back will get done as well um, i figured this is probably the best time to do it because i'm not fighting with 30 bulkheads on it. I can set up once and draw the whole water line all the way across if I would have thought of it before I would have done it before this bulkhead went in as well, but 
so that's kind of the plan right now that's what we're working on and uh yeah it's uh another step forward anyway uh we're actually the temperatures have dropped quite a bit around here lately uh right now we are right around 40 degrees uh i have set up my heater in the back and with the fan and the ceiling i'm actually able to heat that up pretty good uh, it takes about a half hour, but I, was, I had it up to about 55 degrees last night. Uh, that's a really good sign for winter to come. It means we should be able to push through this whole winter, hopefully, and really make a lot of progress in the boat. That was one of the big uh, downfalls last year was uh, it just got too cold to fiberglass. So if we can keep everything reasonably warm, we should be able to uh, continue on. <laughs> idea I'm gonna uh, throw this up on time-lapse or just turn the camera off at this point and uh, finish mocking out my water lines all the way around again so from the bed going down we'll have this amount of space here and it ends up being right around 18 inches 17 inches which is a ton of space considering we have both halls all the way to the back of the boat so that'll all be storage. Uh, some spots will get uh, fuel tanks, water tanks, uh, stuff like that, but there's really not that much as far as the components of the boat. Um, we have fuel tanks, two fuel tanks, one water tank, and a set of batteries. And other than that, they said the rest is all storage. So, all right, I'm gonna get back to it, keep going. <laughs> Everybody, uh, Carl has left me in charge of doing bulkhead number three. I guess he trusts me enough to do this. So I am working on the template layout for bulkhead number three. This is the bulkhead that has the door, the windows, you know, the important one. And of course he left it to me to do. So here I go. I'm putting the final pieces in, basically just braces, but I have everything laid out. I don't think I did terribly, it just took me a while. So yeah, I'm gonna finish up here. I'm putting the tabs on to mark out the gaps on the whole panel. Okay. Because one's curved in and one's curved out. Okay, and this one is, obviously you can curved see. In. The other one's curved Yeah, out. this one curves left to right like that and then the other side is the same thing but it actually curves out because it's the other side of the boat so you're gonna mark those just a little guide yeah just a little guide so we know where it is and we'll also mark up the uh forms themselves perfect and then how many do i have to do uh Three or four, probably on that one. Do you have any thoughts on the hot glue, anything like that? Hot glue? Yeah, using a glue gun to do this. Uh, I know somebody had recommended uh, screwing. Screwing and. Uh, that would take too much effort. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if the screws would actually hold in this uh, eighth-inch plywood we're using, or how well they would hold. Um, I, I like the hot glue thing, and I can still reuse the pieces. We just snap the hot glue off. And it pops right off. Yeah, it pops right off, no problem. So it's not a huge deal. It's not like we're wasting a ton of material here. As long as you have enough points where we can run that curved piece yep. and we can get it to match. Now we're gonna try to push a lot of that in when we glue, but uh, basically I mentioned it to the builder and he recommended just kind of splitting the difference on it. Um, so if that gap is, right, right now that gap's probably three quarters of an inch in the middle. So basically what we would do is push it into about three eighths. And uh, again, we'll make that curve on the panel as well. 
uh, where it's like a 3 8 inch curve. All right, I think that's it. All right, is that it? Don't forget the brace on the other side. I'll do it. Okay. You don't need to catch me doing it all. Though. All right, thoughts, comments, criticisms, anything you learned tonight? Uh, don't be overly. Um... This isn't a puzzle. Yeah. They don't fit. They, it doesn't have to fit to perfect. Make it exact. Yeah. Like exact. And it took me like a half an hour to put one board up. Yeah, no. <laughs> they say it's not that critical as long as we have reference points for everything. It's the biggest thing. Yeah. Um, as far as the door skins. Uh, uh, I like the door skins way better than the other ones. Yeah, the door skins break very easily. Yeah. Uh, some of the pieces I have, I, I picked up. Somebody was just tossing them out. And uh, they're just scrap pieces. Really a pain in the butt to break. It was ripped down, looked like from a 2 by 4 or something. But so... Um, yeah, I think there was a good way to go. Yeah, you can just snap them and kind of whack the edge to flatten it out and you're good. So, okay. any, anything else? No, I think that's it. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right, so today we are prepping to install bulkhead number three. It's the big one, if you remember us doing it last year. We're also switching over to 50-50 mix of silica and micro balloons, glass. glass balloons, because it makes it a medium density filler at this point. We were using a high density filler with just using silica before and we spoke with the designer of the boat and he said he prefers a medium density filler. So 411 um, by West Systems is what he recommended, but that does not exist here in the United States. So it's only in Australia. We are making something comparable to it, which is literally just a mixture of 50-50 silica and glass balloons, micro balloons. So yeah, going forward, we're going to fill it with this and hopefully that will satisfy what he wants us to do. Today we are doing the last of the hall joints. Uh, we're putting one layer of fiberglass tape on here. Uh, I'm going to fill everything first. We have switched our fillet material to a 50-50 blend of microspheres and uh, collateral silica. And so we're going to put one layer of glass down. We've decided to double up on our glass on all the, uh, the corners. Uh, I think we're going to do that after we have the bulkheads in. Uh, I'm going to go back and just kind of glass in between everything as I tab out the bulkheads as well. Um, so that's kind of the plan for today. If we can just get these hall joints done, uh, we have marked out already our main wall bulkhead uh, that goes in these marks here. Uh, Cassie made a template the other night. That's all set now. Uh, so once we're done, fiberglass in the hull joints. Hopefully we can lay out that panel today. And if all goes well, uh, tomorrow night I'll be able to stop prepping to put that, that main wall in. And that's gonna be a, a huge milestone we'll actually get a, a true feel of our space um, at that point. So uh, yeah, it's kind of the plan. We're just pushing to get that main bulkhead in. Uh, if we can do that, we're in, we're gonna be in excellent shape uh, by midsummer next year. I'm hoping to, to really be in good shape to, to start on the finishing touches on this thing so always we are sponsored by total boat we have a discount code in our description below it's valid through february 2022 so check that out to get 10 percent off of your purchase valid only one time
You think it's alright just wetting out in place? Yeah, this is the hardest one I'm doing because I'm leaning you know, so far. Yeah. Alright. So I'll let that saturate for a minute. yesterday somewhere in that vicinity to do to prep everything to do all the fillets all the, the, uh, the joint tape all the way around so uh, thanks for watching guys be sure to like share and subscribe uh, you know tell your friends about us every every little bit helps here uh, YouTube algorithm the more you guys like the more we're, we're recommended in other people's feeds um, it really does help us out uh, it doesn't cost a thing to subscribe um, thanks to all my subscribers out there. Again, without you guys, this wouldn't all be possible. So. Honey, I love you. Yeah. Can you fart part of yourself? No. Are you lying to me? Would I fart? <laughs> Come on. That's not very gentlemanly of me. <laughs> it's a I have fans <laughs> Oh. Uh.